they shouldn't have done the early debate with Biden, right? I think that was well, a strategic got rid of Biden. error. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean think, I think you wanted to run against Biden. Yeah. And I think Kamala raised more money. They're dumping money all around at the moment, spending so much up on television. And that's a hard thing to combat because that's a turnout mechanism, right? And actually, the Trump ground game is quite thin. They've outsourced a lot to Elon Musk. They've outsourced a lot to Charlie yeah. Kirk and Turning Point. They don't have a central turnout operation. The Kamala campaign does. In the last 24 hours, that is a huge deal. Can yeah. you get your people to the polls? I think, look, I'm an optimist on, on the right. I think he just about nicks it, but it should never have been this close. You think he should, he should you know, so that the campaign is to blame for that? She's a terrible candidate. She's been terrible out there. The more the public has seen her, the less but, they like but her. The pollsters are saying he's a drag on the ticket, and you know the incumbent, he's the incumbency factor should mean that the Republicans walk this. He's dragging uh, Congress and Senate campaigns over the line. If Carrie Lake wins in Arizona, it's because of the Trump factor. He's not a is drag. Is she going to win in Arizona? I, look, look, everyone will tell you no, so I'm going to tell you yes. <laughs> That's why you're here. Excellent. You've, you've, you've got the methods of the madness. <laughs> <laughs> Raheem, you're a Brit. Like, you're, mm. a Brit. you're an Englishman in New York today. Um, you know, is the world ready for, for another Donald Trump presidency? I think more ready than they think they are. I think that a second Donald Trump presidency isn't going to look all that dissimilar to his first. And so what does that mean? It means less war. It means uh, more... Uh, At what cost, though? You know, are the Ukrainians ready well, for the Well, we've had Trump this versus... conversation before. <laughs> I think they are ready, by the way. I think they know what their worst-case scenario is. Look, we'll save that about their worst-case scenario. Look, in NATO, he's going to force NATO to pay more. All of this stuff is going to come back around. And by the way, the people that they're talking about putting in positions like Treasury Secretary and, and Secretary of State and all of these things are actually people that abroad, they'll get along with just fine.